I'm just playing, you know, I'm just having, I'm just playing with materials and figuring out how this fits onto that. Something just clicked and, and I just started making art in high school and, and then like turned my parents' basement into this like art land that I called the Fuzz Cave and made music down there and like made art, you know, just with whatever I had. I've taken this, this love of creating environments and spaces, uh, dwelling, you know, spaces, and, and just like have kept doing it. Your living space or your studio is just, it's just an installation, you know, and you can create your vibe. And I try and make it as stimulating as possible <laughs> with the fluorescent paint and really vibrant. And then just like go over here and be like, all right, like this, this is like inspiring me. Basically, I'll just start slopping paint on there and um, not really think, very intuitively making gestures. I go through this process of just building up the surface. And then slowly I'll, I'll figure out like, okay, I want this line here. And then, I, and then I react to that line. So it's like, all right, what is that line doing? Why is that line there? Usually the, I want there to be a reason for that line to be, I want something interacting with that line, like a ball rolling down that line. Or, and then through this reaction and like making decisions, like eventually this almost situation forms where that becomes the painting, where it's like this like moment, this like movement captured, like this ball rolling down and hitting this thing and bouncing off this other thing and trying to like capture movement, but it's just a still painting. But yeah, this is a 100% silicone rubber, big egg, and they're sort of fun to make. Uh, a lot of times I'll find these like scraps of plastic on the street and, and like that sort of begins a piece. You know, at the beach I found like a little end of a shovel, like I, I don't know, you know. So I'll, I'll like, I'll react to that object and, and stick it usually in a pile of clay, like a ball of clay and then I'll paint that ball of clay and then build this sort of totem or tower um, where usually the scrap that I found on the street is the most important thing. And it's just like helping that scrap become something else. Platinum silicone rubber, okay. mix in some color. This is uh, a mold for these bases that I use for the smaller sculptures. Like uh, I use a lot of wiggly lines and I think I can I can hear those, you know, and it, and it doesn't like a straight line just kind of sounds like, you know, dee, or whatever. It's very just monotone, you know. And, and then a wiggly line is more like or something like that. Like that's that that wiggly line is a little more interesting to me because and it's it's a gesture, so it's it's like a painterly gesture. It's it's a movement of the hand which is showing that I am human and I I can't draw a straight line. Yeah. Um, so to show that imperfection uh, and to hear it, you know, it's 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 more interesting. It's 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 a dance. It's it's um, it's more interesting than just like a rigid straight line. I am I'm, I'm creating these like motifs, things that seem to work. It's like th these two colors really worked last time. I'm gonna use that, that same thing again because it was interesting to me. So you're, you're sort of like, you build up this catalog of techniques and different moments, you know, color moments, patterns, things that work together. And then you, you have this language and this thing that you can just keep, you know, pulling out of and just throwing it around in different, different ways. Like I know like what to do about halfway into a piece, I think. Like I know the, the steps to make to like create like a, a color balance and like a, a harmony. So I guess the piece is done when I, when I find that. And it's just, it's a very intuitive feeling. Like it just like, it just hits and it's just, well, there's nothing else I can do here. Sometimes what I think is gonna work doesn't and I have to break it and you know, fix it. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's, it's this like, that's the game part, like where it's like break it, fix it thing, back and forth thing where I'm just like trying to get that feeling.